come in. You're now rocking with the greatest. Reacting to the old and reacting to the latest. Every single genre that's Birdman's taste. Everybody's welcome here in Birdman's place. <laughs> yeah. Who was shaking back? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping on in. Ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to yet another reaction slash review video. And we're gonna dig right in. But first things first, I need you to do something for me. Follow me on twitch.com slash birdman's place for all of my live streams. They're the lifeblood of this channel. They're a marathon and we have a blast. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and relax. Take your shoes off, kick your feet up, and enjoy, because we gonna have some fun today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today, uh, we have a song by an artist that I'm a fan of. I dig his work. I dig what he does. I dig his voice. And I'm excited about the song, because the, the title is intriguing, and I don't think I've heard it before. Haven't heard the song, I don't, I don't think. But the title, I don't know. It, it, it gets it makes me start thinking it makes my mind start going it makes the hamster wheel start rolling so uh today we are going to be reacting to jeff bates song called he wasn't like us so um i'm intrigued and at this point ladies and gentlemen there's really only one thing left to do freddie i'm gonna need them headphones bud i'm sorry i'm sorry this ain't freddie's place it's birdman's place Let's get it. We didn't know for sure, but everybody said that old <coughs> boy ain't right in the head. He's a little mm. slow. We'd hide in the bushes, not making a sound. When he'd walk by, we'd push him down on that. Oh, come on. See, right off the bat, y'all. I never got bullies. I was bullied in seventh grade. I was bullied, and it got all the way to where this guy, he bullied me, and he had a little crony. And his little crony grabbed me behind, grabbed my arms behind my back, and he was wailing on me. And um, I don't know if it was adrenaline or what, but it didn't hurt. He was wailing right on my face. Didn't hurt. When he was done, he just kind of looked at me, and I looked at him, and I said, are you done yet? After that, we shook hands. He never bullied me again. That was it. I don't get bullying. My, you know, I filmed these live with the flock, just so you guys know, and, and you know, we chat this whole thing right here. Uh, we I have a chat screen here so I can see everybody who's saying, and Mike stops in and says, I know what a locker looks like from the inside. What's interesting is this same bully slammed me into my locker and it sliced my knee open. I still got the scar. Um, But yeah, it, I mean, it. I got bullied for an entire school year until I finally stood up for myself and I finally said, are you done yet? Just got in his face. And he backed down and shook my hand and that was it. He, When he was done, when I said, are you done yet? He was really done. I think he realized that he wasn't gonna hurt me. He never hurt me. I never, you know, I never cried. I never showed him that I was in pain. Nothing like that because nothing he did, even though like he sliced my knee open and all that, nothing he did ever really hurt me. So the fact that he knew he couldn't hurt me, I think maybe that made him realize maybe I could hurt him. I was tall and I was skinny and he was a little shorter than me and he was bigger. But um, I always had, uh, I was always tolerant to pain. I don't know. But I don't ever understand bullying. Like, like why would, you know, people, people are different. That's what makes them great. That's what makes people unique. That's what, and unique people are what makes this world go go round. So I don't understand bullying people like that. Those are the people that you should be friends with. <clears throat> I was just as guilty as my friends. Mm. We 
Got a lot of laughs to his expense That's sad He wasn't like us He wasn't cool he That's just what it is even while we were being cruel That's what you do He stood out He didn't fit in You can't let them know that, that they're getting to you We kept throwing the stones No, we didn't let up on him He never said a mean word No, he never even made a fuss He wasn't like us Hmm <coughs> Later on, he made a name in our town for hanging out and running around with the rough crowd. Mm. Okay. They were boozers and losers and low class broads, but he saw good in them nobody else saw when he oh. it See, so this is what I'm talking about. Those are the people that you want to hang out with, those are the people that you want to talk to. Because those are the people, those unique people see the world in a different way. They see past the bad in people to the good. A lot of them. Who knows? Maybe they can see past your bad to your good and bring that out of you. So instead of bullying those people, sit next to those people. Talk to those people. I got another story for you. When I was in school, when I was in high school, there was this one kid that nobody ever talked to. He had a little bit of a... He was just different. And I always went down and talked to him. I always sat next to him at lunch. Whenever he was out there, I'd sit next to him. It was just him and me. That's it. In high school, I pretty much talked to everybody. I didn't have a click. When I saw him out there at lunch, I'd go sit with him. And um, there was this girl that I was taking to prom and there was this other guy who liked her this other guy was supposedly he was in a gang let's just say that he was in a gang i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw names out there but he was in a gang and um he threatened me and he said he was gonna get my boy his boys to take care of me because he liked her well a couple days later at lunch, this guy that nobody talked to, I was sitting there talking to him at lunch, as I usually do. And we were just having this conversation. I happened to bring it up. I happened to tell him what happened. And he said, what's his name? I told him what gang he was in. He said, what's his name? And I told him. And he said, don't worry. You'll never have to deal with that again. And I'm like, um, okay. Turns out this guy who I was talking to was one of the higher ups in this gang. I never knew. This guy that was not the guy who was threatening me, the guy who I was talking to that nobody talked to was a higher up in the gang. The next day, the guy who was threatening me came up to me, apologized profusely, shook my hand, begged me to forgive him, and I said, okay, never saw him again. I never saw him again. Literally, even in the school, I never saw him again. I don't know what happened, but it did me good to talk to this guy that nobody talked to. You never know. You never know. Then the rumor started flying that he was some kind of holy man. Mm. Wow. But we set him straight and told him to his face he was a crazy man. He, he wasn't like us. Dang. He wasn't cool. He just smiled even while we were being cruel. Wow. He stood out. He didn't fit in. And there's nothing wrong with we that. Kept throwing the stones. No, we didn't let up on him. He never said a mean word. No, he never even made a fuss. Wow. He wasn't like us. Well, I remember the day he got in trouble with the law. 
They cursed him and kicked him and mocked him and whipped him Then they nailed uh. him to the cross He wasn't like us He didn't fit in I didn't see that coming. But I have head to toe goosebumps right now. Wow. Hold up. I got to rewind. I guess I didn't even think about that. I kind of went that way when it talked about the holy, the holy man. But I just thought, you know, I was thinking modern times. I was thinking, okay, maybe he was becoming a preacher. But see, I should have thought about that when he was hanging with the, the rough crowd. Because that's what Jesus did. Wow. Rewind. I got I to play that back. Well, I remember the day he got in trouble with the law. Mm. They cursed him and kicked him and mocked him and whipped him. Then they nailed him to the cross. Wow. He wasn't like us. Oh. He didn't fit in. Amen. And I fell down on my knees and wept for him. Oh. He never said a mean word. No, he never even made a fuss. He never did nothing wrong, all he ever did was love. He wasn't like us. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> he wasn't like us. Wow. That's amazing. Amazing song. Oh my gosh. See, and I don't know how I missed that. I was I wasn't even thinking. I was thinking a modern. You know, like I said, I watch these, I film these with the flock. So, you know, we talk before, we talk after, we talk during. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people in here who were bullied. Um, fought back once, never got bullied again. Got bullied because my mom was never at any of my school events. Got bullied because of my teeth having big boobs while being super skinny and my acne. Uh, went to a school where the entire school bullied me. I had one friend the whole year. Uh, I was bullied and beat up by four seventh graders in front of the whole school on the playground. High school was a rough year for me because it always felt like a struggle for me to get included with other guys. Why? Why does this happen? I mean, I... and it's true, Jesus was bullied. Wow, amazing song beautiful if that would have kept going I'd have started crying if that would have kept going it would it would have brought tears to my eyes if that song would have kept going it just that that twist happened right at the end so it didn't didn't get to that point but that was amazing absolutely beautiful ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did I really really do follow me on social media my links are right down here if you'd like to be a member of the flock on patreon get some exclusive content videos you won't see on the channel Videos YouTube doesn't want you to see that they blocked. Those are on there. You can get early access to my videos. You can get your request shot up the list faster. You can get 10% off of merchandise. You can be there for Turn It Up Tuesdays. We have a lot of fun. Movie nights, comedy nights, wrestling nights, video Q&As with artists, video Q&As with other YouTubers. It's an absolute blast. You, you know, like I said, I film these reactions live with the flock. You can be a part of that. Come check it out. Information up here. Link in the description below. Like, share, subscribe. Pass me around. Let's grow the Birdman fam. Birdman fam, flock, love you guys. Mean it. I'm going to see you all in the next one. All right. Much love. Peace. Oh, I shake it back. Birdman here. If you like this video, go ahead and become a member of the Birdman fam by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, make sure to watch the videos on this screen as well as the playlist I put together. You can also become a member of the flock, get some behind the scenes fun, early access, and your request shot at the list faster. Check that out as well. Birdman fam flock, I love you guys. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Much love. Peace.